check, when I checked on Google, it was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I typed in a box, and all I saw were cartons, like you know. The what box. did you call them? Cartons. And then you called the boxes cartons. Oh. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time, welcome to this amazing family. So what you need to do? Subscribe click the red button and join officially like i always say if you've seen at least one of my videos you should subscribe all right today as you can see i have a very special guest all the way from america all right linda hi hi welcome <laughs> <laughs> all right so something happened during the week so i realized that uh, while talking with Linda, there are some words that we pronounce differently. <laughs> Meaning. Meaning, yes. Yeah. And, you know, some things I would say, she wouldn't get it. Mm -hmm. And some things she would say, <laughs> I was like, what is that? Mm -hmm. So, I thought for us to make a video talking about these different words. So, this is Nigerian English versus American mm -hmm. English. And I'll be pronouncing the words in real Nigerian accent. And she'll be pronouncing, of course, in English. In English, in America, with yes. American accent. USA. USA. And she would like she also tried to learn some some yeah. new <laughs> 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 some new words. So the way I do it is so I will show her a picture and I will say what we call it in Nigeria, and she will say what it's called in America. Yes. So Linda, are you ready? I am ready. So let's start with the first one. Battery pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a battery pack. It's a battery pack. Yes. So in Nigeria, we call it a power bank. So actually, with Nigerian accent, power bank. America. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, so, so, so why battery pack? Because it's a battery and you pack it. It's a battery pack. So as to make sense, because it's power in a bank. So it's, it, it's a bank of power. What do you think? No. Yeah, it's a bank. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. It, it, it's a bank of power. Yes. So, like you, you charge it and then you have, like a bank is for storage, right? You yes. store money there. So this is so you store power here. So it's a bank, it's a power No, bank. because it would be a battery pack. Because the battery is something that that uh, you can carry, mm -hmm. you see, and it's a battery, and you pack it. How do you pack it? Well, just like you would your cell phone, or mm. you know, your your purse or something. You just pack it you because pack it's compact, it. right? A battery pack. Okay, so a battery pack. <laughs> yes, I found this very interesting. <laughs> so, this. The shifter. So it's a shifter. It's a shifter. So we call it the gear. Uh huh. And the the car. Now let me correct this because mm -hmm. it depends on what era you're from. Because there's a lot of different things from a different era mm -hmm. that um, that pronounce it the same way mm -hmm. you guys speak now. Mm -hmm. But it was many many years ago. So during time and, and generation change, then mm -hmm. the the terminologies changed for it as well. Okay, so mm -hmm. okay, so um but we call this so the car with the gear mm -hmm. with the like the first gear, second, we call it the manual. Uh-huh. Or you call it the what? We call it the standard. Because it's standard. Why standard? You know, standard of what? Because you're 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 <laughs> using like the the clutch, the brake, and the the gas. So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's another one. Yeah. Yeah. So so it's a standard. It, so wait, so so they have the clutch, uh -huh. the brake, and, and the, the gas. gas. So we call it, so actually right in Nigeria, we call it the throttle. And again. So again, but why the gas? Because it, it, it allows you to go. You want to go, you put the gas on it. Wait, th th does the car run on gas? Yes. All the cars? Not all. There are some cars that are uh, electric. Yeah, yeah huh? So why do you call it the gas? 
Because I don't even, I'm not sure, mm -hmm. so don't quote me, mm -hmm. if uh, even the electric cars, there's no need for them to have yeah, the manual. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. they're mostly automatic. Mm -hmm. So but so what we call the, the throttle or the accelerator is called the gas. Yes, and as well, it again goes back to the generation. Mm -hmm. So each time that we go through something, I'll let you know if it's going back through the generation mm -hmm. Be because then you can be able to say, well, okay, I understand that that's further back, mm -hmm. not the current. So the, the so how so how about this? So it would be called the shifter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the, the car gear. is the standard. Yes. I'm still wondering why. And the then the automatic, you know. But, mm -hmm. Leaves me to pause too, huh? Yeah, because the question. standard. I mean, the manual makes sense because mm -hmm. it's manual. Like you're doing it uh, manually. Doing it by hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I so, get that. Yeah, the standard. Okay, so. And again, that's why I said it depends on what generation you're from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the next one. Now, so this, <laughs> so this is a common misconception. Uh -huh. So in Nigeria, we call this, so most people mm -hmm. call this a Jeep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, a Jeep would be a Jeep. Yeah. Yes. So a Jeep is a brand. Yes, that's the name. And these are called. That is called a crossover vehicle because mm. you're crossing over from a, a car to an SUV. So it's in between. So it, it is called a crossover. But but this looks like an SUV. It's, it looks big enough. So. Well, I can't tell how big it is mm -hmm. on the inside. Mm -hmm. Now the outside is always a delusion. Mm -hmm. It's always on the inside that you can tell if it's a cross over, if it's a crossing over. Mm -hmm. So like for us, we, we call the, so what we call the Jeep is the SUV. So every SUV is a Jeep. Every SUV? Yeah, for, oh. for, for, for I mean, I think now it's changing, uh -huh. but you have some people who are like, you know, more enlightened and they know that every SUV is not a Jeep. Right. But previously, I mean, everyone called it a Jeep. Because the Jeep would be a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> yes so this one the windshield yes so we call it the windscreen the windscreen yes <laughs> the windshield <laughs> but but i think it's not too far away windshield windscreen well see i would think if you said that's a windscreen you know for me in in the american mind it would put me to think of uh, like a, our basic windows or our front doors you know that they have the screens you know to stop like the bus from coming in so the shield being a, a big sheet of glass you see that's why they call it the shield because it's shielding you and as well as the screen can so i understand mm -hmm. you know it's just a little it's just a little off i think mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah. okay so windscreen windshield mm -hmm. all right yes <laughs> this one <laughs> so we call it a bonnet <laughs> It's the hood. The hood. The hood of the vehicle. The top, the front portion of the vehicle. You guys the, call it the... The bonnet. The bonnet. So the hood, how? See, it's a hood. Because when my mind thinks of a bonnet, I'm thinking about the women with the, the, the mm. summer headgear uh -huh. back in the day would be the bonnet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's called the bonnet as well. So then yeah, why so, the yeah, I think it makes sense because the bonnet, the head. Yeah. So the same thing, the bonnet of a car, like the, the front, the head, like. <laughs> <laughs> the hood, people. So you call it the hood. The hood of the vehicle. And this. That is called the trunk. Why the trunk? Because that's where you store things. That's where you put like your groceries. You put, you know, it's just a bigger compartment. So the trunk. The trunk. We call it the boots. The back. We call it the boot, B-O-O-T, the now, boot. My the American boot. mind again, when I think of boot, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about what you put on your feet in the winter. Yeah, that's boot. a boot as well. Uh -huh. So then how can you have a boot for the back of the car and a boot for your feet? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh -huh. The bonnet on the head, the boot. Do you see? On your legs. So bonnet in it. front and... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we call this a frying pan. And you call it a skillet. 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 S-K-I-L-L-E-T. Skillet. Why? 
Because that's what it is. It's what you fry in. Yeah, so uh -huh. a frying pan. And again, people, uh -huh. it depends on what generation you're from. Uh -huh. This, for our, for our generation, uh -huh. we call it a skillet. Skillet. Uh -huh. So when you go into like um, the stores to purchase one, uh -huh. and you say, where are the skillets? They can take you to them. But if you say a frying pan, they're like, what? <laughs> you know, it depends on the generation. Okay. Yeah.